Hello everyone, it's Ishmael N here and I have a weight for you right now. Please pay attention because with this weight, I'm going to touch different areas. So whichever one applies to you at the moment, just take it as it is. And I would urge everybody just to watch this to the very end because even if it's not actually what you are dealing with right now, it can be a good lesson because you need this, okay? But if it's resonating with you, then it's definitely talking to you right now. But this, let me just give out this weight this is how they see you right now this is how they seeing you right now or this how they look at you or this what they see about you or this how yeah so what am i trying to give you out right now you must just understand that when it comes to god it comes to him guiding you directing you leading you and all these things that times they differ and when god has finally come upon your life when you are at the season that you are at it is because the Lord has allowed it. And you must understand, for each and everything that you are praying for, that you are asking the Lord for, each and every one, one of those things, once you receive them, there comes a change. For example, I can pray that Lord give me clothes to wear. Of course, and obviously, once the Lord provides clothes for me, what's going to happen? My my. Sorry about that. My appearance is going to change. Okay? My appearance is going to change. And people who know what I regularly wear, what are they going to see? They're going to see new clothes. Oh, you bought a new, a new shirt. Oh, you bought a new t-shirt. Those things, you know, because they are used. This is what they are seeing at the moment. And then, now, let's just take the Lord even does more. You are wearing, always wearing new clothes on a daily basis and all these things. What are the people going to say? Oh, wow. Seems like this person has money now. Oh, oh, this person, what's up? What's going on with you? New clothes. Oh, you are money. Né? And at the end of the day, once they observe me like that, or they observe you like that, what do you expect? What is going to happen next? Some people, they're going to start to assume you have money. Some is either if they are negative ones, they will want to rob you. If not, some who are close, they gonna try to want to ask money from you to see if they can have their like on you. Even if you help them at the moment, now you will become their personal ATM. Whenever they're in need, whenever they're just a little shortage, they come to you. That is how people at the end end up taking advantage of you. That is how at the end, even if they don't need the money, just because there is a personal ATM, they come to you. Not because they're in need. So listen, and after then, listen, after they asking the money things from you or whatsoever, even when it comes to other areas, this is how they see you. That is why those who are competing with you, who don't want your money, but they felt like they are better than you, who didn't want what you have, they start getting jealous. So listen further for what I'm saying here. I like saying listen a lot, but listen further. It's like a way of me saying pay more attention, okay? So pay more attention to what I'm about to say right now. This is what leads to more people looking at you and they be jealous of you. They be start hating on you. They start uh, whatever negative thing that they can because if they didn't see you the way they are seeing you, they wouldn't be jealous. Ask yourself, why was my friend not jealous of me yesterday when I had nothing? It is because already this, this, there was something that they were seeing from you. And they felt like, ah, oh, this person is no threat. But now that the Lord has transformed you, the Lord has elevated you, they see something else. And now the reaction is bound to change. Now, let's move into the marital matters right now. Like I said, I'm going to touch many areas and then I'm going to put all these things together. There comes a time. Let me give example with women. Men, when they observe women, they are mostly attracted to beauty. Isn't it? That's true. That's, the, that, that's what it is. And there comes a time where that woman, if she, in the beginning, maybe she's not so attractive and all these things, but then she starts to do her hair, dress in an attractive way and all these things. Now the men or many men, they start to approach her. What does this say? These people are seeing something from me. Just like men. He can be like a broke man. He has nothing. He's tried to maybe you want to ask a woman out. He should say no. No, 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 no. He tries to DM them on Instagram. Oh, no. They don't even bother to respond. 
but let that man have something let that man be successful have money and all these things what happens things begin to turn around now they can respond and now they respond quickly now they uh, they are keen to go out what does that say it is what they are seeing what they are seeing you look at a man with muscles at the end of the day a, a bodybuilder what do most people commonly say they don't dare to move closer to that man even if that man can say hey make a way for me nobody dares to oppose what that man is saying because they're like hey this one is gonna kill me oh look at all it's what they are seeing let me tell you something when the lord has put the anointing upon you when the lord is able to reverse everything that they do especially spiritually against you now they become fearful of you they begin to see you as that somebody that nobody can touch okay hey, dad don't you dare move to us don't you dare attempt your thing you have to be strategic we have to plan properly that is why even satan himself with his demons he doesn't just come to you at will at uh whenever it feels like he is more careful because there is some huge consequences to suffer hallelujah they know that oh this is not an easy entry this is you enter that place oh okay you must plan properly we must do something that is gonna work and even when as god is in, uh, elevating you let me tell you don't be scared of attacks the lord jesus got all different types of criticisms the very same man remember that jesus was the perf most perfect being or the only perfect being that ever lived on earth but then still ask yourself one question why did they still crucify him why did they still spit on him why did some still consider him a demon in their eyes they did not see a perfect being they saw a sinner meaning you can never be perfect in everyone's eyes you cannot please everybody in the world and what made them to hate jesus it was the things that he was doing the miracles that he was performing once you engage in something listen it will change the way people see you and the way in which they react based on what they see from you you can get married to the wrong person not because you did anything wrong necessarily but because you attracted that person some way, somehow they saw something and they were like maybe if i marry this person i'm gonna have riches i'm gonna be able to you know divorce them later and you know sequa my bag and all these things and the man can look at a woman oh if i can marry this one no 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 i will never leave her. oh she's so beautiful but he found that he was seeing her out of lust hence he be with her after he sleeps with her he leaves her it was due to lust in what they saw in the mighty name of jesus christ i come with a weight right now that is why it is important anything that happens to you while you are under the surveillance of the holy spirit don't fear anything and i pray anybody that is looking at you in a negative light anybody that is looking at you negatively whatever they whatever bad they wish against you will not come to pass and in jesus mighty name let good people because you can also attract good people good people can look at you and they see an opportunity and they discuss a business idea someone an ordained spouse can look at you and they see this is a wife material this is a husband material let me get married to this person and find that they come in with a genuine intentions and i pray in jesus mighty name let them see you let them fear you those who are seeing you in a bad way and let them respect you those who are seeing you in a good way i pray may you attract what is good in jesus name amen and of course that's all i had my details are on the comment section below see you next time